I guess one of the biggest thing is, is that, and I am going to put this in quotes and I'm going to explain it, but is that we choose this option because it is the easy way out. I feel like that's couldn't be further from the truth because it is one of the hardest decisions anybody can ever make. Whether you're birth mom, birth dad, whether you have support, you don't have support, it's not an easy choice. And especially like in my circumstance, it took me eight months before I even made that choice, before I started seeing what that meant, seeing what adoption meant. I mean, cognitively, you know <laughs> what adoption means. But until you're in it, and the nitty gritty of adoption and placing a child for adoption and what that means it is probably the hardest decision anyone could ever make. As I've met more and more birth moms, I have learned that it's not always a choice. Sometimes it's taken, they're just taken away from them. Sometimes there's other reasons, but it's not always a choice. Or sometimes it feels like a choice, but you're geared towards that choice. Also, another myth is about open adoption. People think that open adoption means that, oh, you're going to have contact. And so now you have the best of both worlds. Now somebody else is going to raise your child, but you got to be involved. That's not always the case. I am involved, but I know plenty of moms that they were promised pictures. And adop open adoption only really means that you've picked the people. Once those papers are signed, if the adoptive parents decide not to do anything they promised, there's nothing you can do about that. People have lost contact from the day they placed. When uh, we found out I was pregnant and I was talking with my mom and my sister and still, like I said, it took me eight months to decide on adoption. Um, my oldest sister had known of a couple who was looking for adoption, but they didn't want us to pick them just because we knew them. So they, through a friend that they had in common, passed to my sister a um, business card of the lawyer that they were working with, um, just so that there wasn't like a bias of picking them just for that reason so then we met with the adoption lawyer and he had like a hundred portfolios for me to look at and in the office we narrowed it down to like 20 and then I took home about five originally my thought was I wanted to place my child for adoption with somebody that already had kids because I wanted to know that they um, were going to have siblings of course my biggest um, Thing, though was somebody who was going to raise them with similar beliefs that I had. If I wasn't going to raise them, whoever was needed to raise them similarly to how I was. Um, so I actually had gone through these portfolios and I had actually met another couple first and <laughs> they actually almost scared me out of choosing adoption. Um, and then I decided, okay, let's just meet this other couple that my sister knows. And when I met them, it was very evident and very clear they were the ones I was supposed to place my child for adoption with. People will say things like, what a blessing, or you did the right thing. Though in some cases, in most cases, it is a blessing to the adoptive family. But what you're forgetting is the trauma and the tears and the pain that a birth mom goes through. Yeah. And not always are you doing the right thing. You might be doing the right thing with the information you have. But again, as in the last couple of years, I've met more and more birth moms and it hasn't always turned out to be the right thing. Yeah. You have to trust that you're placing your child with a healthy family, but that isn't always the case. I guess the biggest thing is that even though 
I sign papers and it's permanent and it's done. Okay. It's still an everyday choice that I have to go through. Not that I dwell on it from day to day, yeah. but I still have to remember yeah. the, why I chose that. And like in my case, it was, you know, a choice. Um, so I would say the biggest thing is that it's something we're always going through. Mm -hmm. And um, hopefully it doesn't take other birth moms 20 years to find support like it took me.